If you step on a rusty nail, you should have had a tetanus shot, right? Well, that's what we've been told. The tetanus shot changed everything for me. It was the last toxin I ever had injected in my body and it made me so incredibly sick that it forced me to look into what was actually in it. Believe it or not, tetanus vaccines are usually made from rotting organs, something worth knowing if you're a beginner vegetarian. They use cow heart and boil it in water to create an environment for Clostridium tetani, the bacteria that produces the tetanus toxin, to grow. They then neutralize the toxin with formaldehyde and mix it with aluminum adjuvants. No wonder it made me feel like death. Another thing that people should know is that tetanus doesn't even come from rust at all. It actually comes from a bacteria that lives in horse or cow manure and sometimes soil or dust. So unless you're working on a farm or walking barefoot through manure, your risk of tetanus is extremely low. And if you have a milk allergy, the tetanus vaccine contains casein and can cause fatal anaphylaxis, yet most people are never warned about this. Getting the booster every 10 years is also another vaccine schedule joke as studies have shown that there's no difference in protection between people who get the booster every 10 years versus those who receive it every 30. But here's the wildest part. Even if you're one of the less than 30 cases in the US each year and you actually get exposed through a deep oxygen deprived wound, an additional shot, which is the protocol, wouldn't even help you because it takes two to seven weeks to build antibodies after the shot. If you're already infected, it's too late. Instead, just take one gram of vitamin C, preferably from a whole food source for five to seven days. In a clinical study, this approach resulted in 100% survival in children with tetanus and significantly reduced mortality in adults. We don't need more vaccines. We need more truth and a little more vitamin C.